Okay, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Jesse Carroll, professional voice actor and coach. And today I got a special treat for you. We're doing another installment of the live coaching series. And I have with me today, Kimberly Harrison, who has never done voiceover before. She really wants to. So we're going to do her first coaching live for you guys. Kimberly, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. You a little nervous at all? I am. First, I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie. First time and all you people are watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry about the nerves. The nerves really never go away. So you just kind of get used to them after a while. So we are going to start with the script and you didn't over prepare it, right? Like I asked you not I to. I did not. I did. I just glanced and let it go. Okay. Glance, let it go. Cool. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to read it from the very beginning to the very end and just read it for words to get your mouth around the words. Don't make any decisions yet. We're just okay. trying to see what we're trying to do is look for words that spark emotion or imagery and just get an idea of the context of the overall script, what it's about. Okay. So we're just okay. reading for information. All right. Okay. So whenever you're ready, just take it slow. And if you make making mistakes, don't worry about it. Just keep going and we'll talk about it after. All right. What's it like to go up on one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? A better question, what's it like to be blasted down? Supreme scream, what a blast. Knew it not. So so call kids just 1250, adults only just 25, and don't miss the fireworks show on July 4th. Great. Perfect. Okay. Number one question. Who is the client? What are we what are we selling here? I would say, and I'm taking notes. If that's okay. Yeah, you take no, go for it. Absolutely. I would say we are appealing to parents who want to have a really fun time with their children at an amusement park. I like where you're going. I like where you're going that with that. But what's the actual actual product? What are we selling? Not who are we selling to. That's okay. Great. That's great. But oh. what are we selling? First, we're first selling foremost, we got to know what we're selling. Roller coasters. Roller coasters. Exactly that. Specifically, which roller coasters? The these the the ones at Knoll at uh, Knott's Berry Farm, which is the thrill ride reveal. <laughs> exactly. So we've got we got Knott's Berry Farm, we got roller coasters, we've got yeah. thrill rides. What mm -hmm. other kind of words are sp spark an image or an emotion? Would you say? Um, There's scream. no right or wrong answer. Scream. It's exactly. Screaming. Perfect. You're thrilled. You're gonna blast down. It's fast. It's the tallest thrill ride in the yeah. world. In the world. <laughs> yeah. You're a quick study. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly what I was looking for. Um, do you know this ride at all? I do not. I live near, I live near, I think this is in PA, Knott's Berry Farm. I think this one's in, it's in, it's in Southern California or oh, so no, no, SoCal no. kids. It's like, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, That's yeah, right. yeah. The SoCal kids. <laughs> exactly. <Got it>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot I know. the I mean, I'm originally from Canada. That messed me up. So I was like, well, yeah. it's SoCal. Um, okay. So it's in SoCal, Knott's Berry Farm. We've got the roller coaster, but we need to know because there's so many roller coasters out there. We need mm -hmm. to have an idea of what this exact ride is so we can so we can feel how insane it actually is and communicate that. Right. So one thing I would do with this is I would just Google it. The, the Knott's Berry... Um, the Knott's Berry uh, Super Scream Thrill Ride. Okay. Now, because this is a reveal, at the time that this came out, this was back in 2010, this might not have been, there might not have been any commercials or any footage or anything of this, right? They may have sent it with this audition, but they may not have. So luckily now we can look back and we know that the thing exists. And when we Google it, I Googled it earlier. And what it is, it's this giant tower and it shoots you straight up. And then when you get to the top of it, it doesn't just drop you to the bottom. It shoots you towards the ground floor and then it catches you at the last second. So you feel like you're going to get shot into the ground. That's why it's called the super screen. It's awesome. I would die. <laughs> it's awesome. But at the time we didn't, when this came out, there might not have been any footage of it. So you would just have to think about the craziest roller coaster that you've ever seen in your life, just to get that feeling, to get that real sense of it. So what you want to do is just before you begin this, really, really like sit with like the picture of that coaster where you're up in the air, let's say a hundred, what does this say? How, how tall is this thing? 
through our lives, better question what's your life? It doesn't say. So we're going to say 150 feet. We're talking like taller than the Empire State's building, okay? 150 feet in the air. Then you're going to get blasted down and wait until you like feel like kind of the, the excitement of that and then start. Now, with this, because it's a theme park and a roller coaster, the trap that a lot of people fall into is that you're going to start screaming in the beginning of it. What you want to do is kind of have that feel, in my opinion, have that feel of like what it's like to almost get on the ride, then go through the ride, and then have that feeling of relaxation after you've gone through it, like a journey, right? You're going through the journey like people will. So like the ride's going up, and then it goes crazy, and then it comes down. Does that make sense to you? That makes absolute sense. You know, I love roller coasters. This is perfect for you then. <laughs> you seemed like when we talked before that you're a really fun-loving person, so I thought this would be good for you. Cause you got a lot of energy and this does have energy, but it's controlled energy. You can't just blast it all the way through. You got to have levels build up and then come back down. Okay. But here's the thing because you're largely untrained and you haven't coached before. I also want you to do what, what makes sense to you go with your instinct on this. Okay. Because you really want to sound like you. Don't just be like a cookie cutter of me or another voiceover person. The more you sound like you and the more authentic you are, the mm -hmm. higher your chances of getting picked are. Because you might do something that they weren't aware of, but you're still in lines of what the script, like what the copywriter meant when they wrote this script. Okay? I've, I've talked so much. I give you way too much information. <laughs> let's, let's see. That's, that's where I want you to start, right there. Okay. So you want me to start again? Yeah. Yeah, start again and just give yourself a second and have that energy internalized and then let it rip. Okay, okay. What's it like to go up one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? A better question, what it's like to be blasted down. It's super scream. What a blast, new at not. SoCal Kids, just $12.50. Adults, only $25. And don't miss the fireworks show on July 4th. <laughs> Good. Great. Great. Great first actual read. So we're going we're gonna to go again, okay? We're going to start okay. at the beginning. And we're just going to take it piece by piece. So okay. now we're going to go. We're going to start at what's it like to go up one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? Okay? So really, like just that one sentence, that's all we're going to do. And picture okay. ramping up your energy. Start small and kind of start off by saying like, what's it like? Like really ask that question. What's it like? And let it hang for a second. And then to go up one of the largest thrill rides in the world. World. Okay. Yeah. Got it? Yes. All right. What's it like to go up on the tallest thrill rides in the world? Not bad. Let's go again. Now, give me a bit more even energy as you as you amp it up energy. and some more internal energy. Don't be afraid to go too far. We can always bring you back down. Okay. What's it like to go up the tallest thrill rides in the world? One of, I misread. Sorry. No, no, that. it's okay. How about this? Hold on a second. What do you find besides roller coasters? What do you get really excited about that you just can't wait to go do? Make money. <laughs> Make money. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. How, like, how much money would you be like, what would make you be like, oh my God, where let's say, let's say you won the lottery. You got to go cash in your ticket. You're mm -hmm. on your way there right now. How much, how much money would make you like squeal where you're like, oh my God. Uh, I will start with 5 billion. Okay. 5 million. So yeah. you're going to pick up $5 million with this line. What's it like to go up one of the tallest thrill rides in the world. You're really saying, what's it like to win $5 million? Oh, I like that. Okay. I like how you did that. Okay. Yeah. So think more of connecting it to like your real thoughts and how you actually feel rather than trying to make it sound a certain way. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's try it again. And I think I need to, I, I need to stop worrying about looking at the camera and just. Yeah, don't, ignore the that, camera. It's not even there. That's what it is. It's, it's not camera. even there. It's the camera. Hi. You're doing oh. great. You're doing great. You're doing great. All right. What's it like to go up one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? 
Sounds like you were going to pick up ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. You said five million. Okay. All right. You said it. I'm getting five okay. million. <sighs> and then contain oh. it. Like, okay. what's it like to go? What's it like to go pick up five million dollars? Okay. You know. What's it like to go up one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? Great, great, great. We're going to keep going now. Okay. And now flip it. So flip your intention because right now you're kind of setting it. Let's say you're setting a trap. Let's say you're standing at the top of this coaster and you're about to flip the switch and everyone's going to go screaming down to the ground. Okay. So you're like, grab that switch and be like a better question with kind of a devilish smile on your face. Okay, so you want me to read lead the whole them on? Thing? Yeah, you got to lead them on. So just uh, that one, that one line, a better question. Do with a, a wry, devilish smile on your face. Better question. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. just like that. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You and you moved your body. Sometimes when you put your body and your yeah. face a certain way, it makes the words. It inform your body informs how words come out. It really yeah, does. I think, I think like I, I think I need to use my hands for some of reason. Course. The energy will help me instead of like, like this. A hundred percent. When I'm and in my booth, I look like an insane person. I talk like this the whole time <laughs> well, when I'm doing the energetic stuff. So right. yeah, just that one line, a better question. And like, really like devilish smile on your face. Okay. So just that one line, we're just saying that one line. It's that one line, but a big devilish oh. smile on your face. Mm. Like you're about to do something really fun, but everyone's going to scream. Hmm. A better question. Just like that, but a little bit more voice. Give me a little bit more voice, but just like that. Hmm. A better question. Now, next line. Take your time with this real slow with that same intention. What's it like to be blasted and really hit blasted? Okay, so I'm going to start at a better question, okay? Okay, sure. No problem. Go straight into it. Hmm, a better question. What's it like to be blasted down? down. Yeah, exactly <laughs> like that. And then and then the next line, super scream. You're going to get a lot of energy. Super okay. scream. Super scream. What Let, a blast. Okay, if this makes sense, less volume, more energy. Hmm. Say, say for me, say for me, you just say, I just won $5 million. I just won $5 million. I don't believe it. I want to hear <laughs> 5 million. You just won 5 million. Tell me you won $5 million. I just won $5 million. Yeah. Now say super screen. Super screen. There you go. <laughs> okay. Now it's a, it, and now that laugh that you had, that intention right after, then uh-huh. just say, what a blast. Like it's what just, a it, blast. Yeah. Knew it. Knew it not. Well, you got to switch. What a blast. It's over, but now it's exciting. Knew it not. Knew it not. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to go with the beginning down to there. Let's try and put that together if we can. Don't worry about the rest of it yet. We'll get there. So just from what's it like down to knew it not. Okay. What's it like to go up one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? A better question. What's it like to be blasted down? It's Supreme Scream. What a blast. Knew it not. Oh, Supreme Scream. I don't know why I kept calling it Super Scream. Supreme Scream. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Great. Let's go again. And this okay. time, have a big smile on your face from the beginning. And don't okay. forget to have the, the like the devilish kind of smile. Like lean in a bit when you say, after you say, tallest thrill rides in the world, lean in a bit and say, a better question. (laughs) Trust me, it'll work. So big smile on your face. What's it like to go up one of the tallest rides, thrill rides in the world? A better question. What's it like to be blasted? And then pull that lever. Down. (laughs) Supreme scream. What a blast. Knew it not. (laughs) so perfect i mean come on you're so perfect with it i love it all right let's go no we're gonna do it we're gonna go this way and then we're gonna get you to put your own spin on it you're doing great all right all right so say what's it like to go up one of the big smile you know that's not a smile that's a frown 
<laughs> so smile the whole time. Just for, it's well, it's gonna change. Big smile on your face from the beginning. What's it like to go up one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? Then lean in. A better question. Because <laughs> it's fun. It's a theme park. We're we have no one's gonna go if it's not fun the whole time, right? Everything's awesome. What's it like? to go up on one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? A better question. What's it like to be blasted down? It's a preen scream. <laughs> what a blast, knew it not. <laughs> good, good, great. Now, here, here's what we can do sometimes too. So when these are written, when you see like those dot, dot, dots, you don't mm -hmm. always have to follow them and there's not a set amount of time. Right. Okay. So sometimes what I will do is just ignore that. And I will add like what I, how I think it should be said, because at the end of the day, it's you saying it and somebody doing the copywriting isn't sometimes for something like this, they would be pretty good. And they may have a pretty good idea how the voiceover person is going to say it, but mm -hmm. the voiceover person, the artist is going to have their own artistic spin that the copywriter never would have thought of. So for me, when I see that line, I would have been like, I understand that the, the idea is to kind of create tension and leave the the listener hanging a bit. So we do that when we say, when we lean in and go, a better question, what's it like to be blasted down? So you don't have to, you don't have to give a big dot, dot, dot space. Dot, dot, dot. It can just okay. be a beat. Okay. All right. Let's try it again. What's it like to go up on one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? A better question. What's it like to be blasted down? It's Supreme Scream. What a blast. Knew it not. Good, good. Now let's smooth it out a bit. In the beginning, it was a little bit staccato, which means it was kind of like let's choppy. Smooth, a little choppy. Let's just smooth, smooth it out a bit, smooth out a bit, and then have fun at the end. Have fun at the end. Say it your own way, how you would say it. Supreme Scream. What a blast. Knew it not. However you want to say it. Just make sure you're having fun. Okay. <laughs> it's a little more than just saying words, isn't it? <laughs> oh, much more than saying words. But it's fun, right? Imagine doing this it's all day. Fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> What's it like to go up on one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? A better question. What's it like to be blasted down? Well, it's Supreme Scream. What a blast. Knew it not. That was awesome. That was really, really good. Listen, you. you're new at this. Like for a beginner, that was really, really good. You know, there's a couple of things in there that I would tweak a bit, but mm -hmm. overall, that was great. Okay. Yeah. And especially like the way you, way you began. Now I want you to do it again. And I want you to forget everything I said. And I want you to really say it. And I want you to just get comfortable and confident, you know, lean back and you, you, you know it now it's in you, you know what we're talking about. So have fun with it. Okay, now, um, okay, all right, right. What's it like to go up one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? A better question. What's it like to be blasted down? It's Supreme Scream. What a blast, knew it not. That was a read. That was really good. <laughs> and your voice is perfect for it. I love the squeaky voice. It goes great with it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Say it again. You love my what? The squeaky voice. <laughs> I love it. Do you know all my life I, I've been called? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but. you got a special voice. And, you know, here's the thing. I always say that, you know, it's not necessarily, not really the voice. It's what you do with it. And it's true. You got to put a lot of work into voiceover to make it happen. But having a really unique voice like yours, when you're starting, that can give you a leg up. But then you got to work like hell. But still, like, it's, I don't know. I can't get enough of your voice. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so, you. Yeah, you've got a gift. Okay, you just got to gotta work to use it. So now with this last line here, SoCal, SoCal kids, just $12.50. Adults only uh, only just $25. I don't know if that's written very well. Only, adults only just $25. <laughs> um, and don't miss the fireworks show on July 4th. So just say adults only $25. SoCal kids, just $12.50. Adults only $25. And don't miss the fireworks show on July 4th. So this is just information. So just put a smile on your face and just read it like you're talking to like a buddy. Okay. Okay. And yeah. 
And just make sure that we hear that SoCal kids, just $12.50, adults only, $25. Yeah. And don't miss the fireworks on July 4th. Those are important information. The kids are just $12.50 and the adults are only $25. And the fireworks show is on July 4th. Now, question. Mm -hmm. When there is our dollars, you don't so you don't have to say $12.50. No, I would say 1250s. They make Here's the thing. If you book this job and you go into a live directed session, that's a great question to ask the producer or director that you're talking to on the line. And they might say, that's a great question. Tell you what, we're going to do it both ways. And then they'll decide later, which often happens. They'll have you say $12.50 or they'll say $12.50. Most likely they would do $12.50 because these things are usually um, timed perfectly to picture. And they always want it to be the shorter version. $12.50 $12.50 is long when you get to say no. just $12.50. Right? Okay. Okay. All right. So call kids. So Cal kids, just $12.50. Adults only $25. And don't miss the fireworks show on July 4th. Okay, good, good. You you're on the right track. Big smile on your face. Don't forget the smile. We're not yeah, we're still we're still at the theme park. Still fun. We just got <laughs> off a roller coaster. But yeah, just say it naturally. While you got that kind of a, that level of smile on your face. Okay. When you put a big smile on, sorry, when you put a big smile on your face um, like this, the reason we do it is because it it, it naturally makes you sound more energetic and people can actually hear the smile. And that way you don't have to push it because it's just smile on your face makes you sound like you're having a great time. You know what I mean? Okay. So big smile on your face, read it. So-called kids, that's 1250 adults only, $25. And don't miss the fireworks show on July 4th. That's, <laughs> you know, the way Not that's bad. worded is it's weird. <laughs> no, it's, I know they wrote it weird. But weird. It's, <laughs> one, one last time, one last time. That okay. was good. It was a little over the top. <laughs> okay. a over the top. Right. Pull it back a bit, but big smile on your face still. But you don't need to push it because the smile on your face, well, that will do enough. Okay. So-called kids, just 1250 Adults only $25 and don't miss the fireworks show on July 4th. Can you give me 50% more energy? 50 more cents. So 50%. Calculated 50. Oh, you want me to bring 50% it down? more energy. Just a little oh. bit up. Okay. A little bit up. Okay. Yeah. You want me to bring it down? No, okay. no. More energy, but not over the top energy. Not over the top. So called kids, just 1250 Adults only $25 and don't miss the fireworks show on July 4th. Okay. Great. It was, it's close. It's slightly over top with a little bit of tweaking, but not not bad. Not bad. Okay. Let's move on to the JC Penny because I think we've done that one to death. Great job, though. Thank you. How do you feel so far? Are you exhausted? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not exhausted. I, I, you know, I'm first of all, and I didn't say this. I should have said this in the beginning. Thank you for allowing me to do this. No problem. You're helping me. Thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so this one here, JC Penny, it's more copy, but this one's easier. The other one, we give you the tough one first because even though it's shorter, you have to like really dig deep and get into it and get excited and have a lot of energy. This one, you're being friendly, you're being neighbor, neighborly. Um, it's it's got some humor to it, so just be your normal, fun self. Okay. So again, we're just gonna read it once for information. We're going to talk about it, and then we're going to take it piece by piece. Okay. All right. I'm reading. Your brain has two sides. The right side, creative, buy things, have fun. The left side, organized, practical, saves money. Now JCPenney makes both sides happy. It's It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save, 20 to 30%. So use your head, buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. That was a really good. (laughs) You were supposed to. (laughs) That That was a really good first read just for information. You gave like a performance. I mean, you know, there's there's a couple spots where you kind of had the same energy a bit. But like overall, I think you got the idea. Good. Okay. great. So we're at JCPenney. What are we selling? Clothes. We're selling clothes. Right. Okay. What what kind of words do we got in here that like sparks any kind of imagery or emotion? Uh, organized. You know, if you have a wardrobe that's organized. Okay. Sure. 
you know, you can mix match clothes that makes it creative. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so it's both sides. So it's like the right, like they're ah. saying, the right side is fun, 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 and then the left is. I want to have everything in order. So I don't yeah, you're too, really getting it. You're. I don't want to go too far right because I don't want to get out of the box and to be in disarray. So I'll stay in the left side, which is right. Not. Well, here's the joke of the spot. The joke of the spot is that you kind of got a split personality to perform this and you're struggling with each side, right? Yeah. So let's start with you. Your brain has two sides. The right side, now be creative, creative, buys things has fun. So actually be, be creative and fun the way you say those lines. Okay. okay. And then we're going to go the complete other direction, but play a character, be a character in this. Your brain is two sides, the right side, creative, buys things, has fun. You know what I mean? Okay. Be that side while you're playing that side. Okay. The creative fun, buys things, has fun, is aloof, that side, be that while you're, while you're saying those lines. Okay. All right. I'll go again. Your brain has two sides. The right side, creative, buy things, have fun. The left side, organized, practical, saves money. Now JC Piney makes both sides. Oh, 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 we're just taking a bit of time. Hold on. You're just you're, you're, <laughs> you're getting it. Now you just want to fly. Let's slow it down. It's good. A little much. Have the intention. Pull it back a bit. Let's just start with we'll take the two sides because you're 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 getting it now. So let's go from brain has two sides um down to saves money. Now you're on the right track, just pull it back a bit. And what I mean by pull it back is just uh a little a little less pushing. Less pushing. Okay. Yeah, with your intentions. So like when you're being creative, buys things has fun. You know, mm -hmm. you, you can be creative, buys things, has fun instead of creative, buys things, has fun. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. it was just a little bit too much. Too much. You can okay. still use your body. Just you are just pushing a bit with your voice and your intention. Okay. Your brain has two sides. The right side, creative, buy things, have fun. The left side, organized, practical, saves money. Good. Good. Now let's bring out a little bit more of the creative buys things has fun side. Everything else is great. Let's just bring out a little bit of the creative buys things has fun. And leave everything else the way it was. It was a great start. Your brain has two sides. The right side, creative, buy things, has fun. The left side, organized, practical, and saves money. Good. Do me a favor. When you say has fun. Have fun when you say that. Just, just say that one line, just that one word or two words. Has fun. Has fun. Has fun. Big smile on your face. <laughs> has fun. Cool. Now do 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 all that again, just like that. And has, when you say has fun, say it just like that and move your body just like that. Your brain has two sides. The right side, creative, buy things, has fun. The left side, organized, practical, saves money. I can't wait for you to watch this back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at this. Um, okay. Like, now we're going to. I love it. I love the confidence. <laughs> we're going to move on um, to now JC Penny makes both sides happy. It's buy, it's buy, buy more, save more. It's a buy more, save more sale. Okay. The more you buy the more. Let's just do, let's go from now JC Penny makes both sides happy. Um, mm -hmm. Go down to 30, say, save 20 to 30%. Okay. Hold on. Let me my notes. Now right. take a look at that before you jump right into it and just see if there's anything that you can do to make it a little creative, a little bit more unique, a little bit more you. You don't have to do anything. Just, you know, look at it and see if there's any place that you can add a little bit of your own personality to it. Okay. All right. Surprise me, but don't go over the top. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> no, it's okay. You don't have to. You're doing great. Like it's it's good. So let's just let's hear what you got, and then you know we'll make some adjustments, or I'll say congratulations. You're amazing. You should teach me. <laughs> <laughs> now J C Penny makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save. 20 to 30 percent 
Okay, good. So let's we're gonna go from now. JC. <laughs> Now we're going to go from now JC Penny makes both sides happy. So oh. it's the buy more, <laughs> save more sale. So that's the name of the sale, right? So it's not, it's the buy more, save more sale. It's the buy more, save more sale. Save more sale. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. It's, 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 and then just break it down. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save. So you're just talking to me, just talk to me. So okay. it's, it's not the buy more, save more sale. It's the buy more, save yeah, more sale. Yeah. Yeah. And then right after you say that, just say, just shrug like this. Do it. Look at me. Do this. It's simple. It's simple. Exactly. It's simple. Bye. But smile on, your, smile on your face, though, because it's exciting. It's not, it's not like simple, like, oh, how sad for us. We have to go to a sale. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's simple as in simple. Yeah. Anybody can do it. It's easy. Bye. The more Bye. you buy, it's simple. The more you buy, the more you save. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's hear it. Okay. Now J.C. Penny makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save. Twenty to thirty percent. Good. You little pushing at the end. A lot of a lot of good stuff in there. A little pushing at the end. Just really just say it to me. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save. Twenty to thirty percent. Um, in the beginning, when you say now J.C. Penny makes both sides happy, you really want to yeah. hit both. Because before that, we were, we were we had a split personality. We were separate. But now, J.C. Penny makes both sides happy. Okay. Yeah. Just worry about hitting the word both and then just communicating information. The rest will fall into place okay. in the first part of the line. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. But I can do it. It gets a lot. It gets a lot easier. You just have to do this a ton. Like I, I mean, I've done over a thousand voiceovers. I, I, I've done an uncountable amount of auditions. So that's why I get it so quick. You can't expect to get it like I do if you haven't been doing it for seven years, right? <laughs> but it comes. It comes. The more you do it, the better you get. Now J.C. Penny makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. I don't know why I keep stopping. It's okay. Me... It's okay. It's okay. Here's the thing too, when you're starting out, because, you know, you're not used to reading the words and saying them as you're reading them as not, not as much as somebody that does it all the time is right. Eventually, the more you do this, and that's why I always tell everybody when they start doing this to audition as much as possible and constantly work at it because your, your brain starts to get quicker at reading and saying words at the same time, you'll get to a point where you're actually saying words and your eyes are reading like a line or two ahead. It's a really right. weird thing. <laughs> right. I get it. So again, <laughs> now JC Penny makes both sides happy. Full both side. I said emphasis on both. Okay. Yeah. So like do this, go buh. Buh. Yeah. Really make that buh sound. Buh. Yeah. Side. Now what that's going to do is that's going to remind you to hit B as in <laughs> Now, JC, now, yeah, but you don't have to do it like that. It's just <laughs> reminding, reminding your lips not to skip over the B. Now, okay. JC Penny makes both sides happy. Okay. Now, JC Penny makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save 20 to 30%. Great. Now, just do it like you're happy about the sale. Okay. <laughs> you did. It was great. It was great. It just, uh, it just lacked the smile. That's all you needed was the smile right. on your face. You put a smile on your face, it would have been perfect. Okay. Now, JC, now, should I say now? Can I pause even though a comma isn't there? Well, there, here's here's what I would do with that now, right? So I would use that word to, to make it sound more conversational. So instead of saying, now JC Penny makes both sides happy, which could be a way to do it, you could say, now JC Penny makes both sides happy. You know what I mean? It makes it sound more conversational because people do use now to start words like sentences all the time. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Now JC Penny makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save. 20 to 30%. Now put a big stupid smile on your face. Do it again. Now JC Penny makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save, 20 to 30%. Good. Then you pushed at the end a bit too much. <laughs> I pushed too much. Yeah. The, it's too simple. Much the more you buy. Is this 
go ahead. When you, you're putting too much sauce on it, when you're like, the more you buy, the more you save, like you don't need, you just like, the more you buy, the more you save. Your smile will do it all for you. You just really just deliver the information, you know? Like for example, now JC Pun now, now JC Penny makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save, 20 to 30%. Okay. Nice and conversational, but big smile on your face. <laughs> This is hard. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is, you're just new. Listen, anything that you do for the first time is going to be difficult. The yeah. more you do it, the, the more you get your reps in. I remember being a little kid trying to learn how to tie my shoelaces. I'm like, I'm never going to figure this out. This is, are you kidding me? What am I going to do with this? I've never right. seen a shoelace before. And I'm like, my dad made some kind of like mosaic origami thing. And I'm like, what the? <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> All right. Um, this will be just like that. I promise it will eventually get as easy as tying your shoes. You'll just see it and you'll see, you'll see the matrix. Are you hearing any feedback or anything? No, I did a couple of times, but it's fine now. Have you seen okay. the matrix? Yes. I love the matrix. Okay. Yeah. You know how like Neo, when he sees the code and you can like, and how everyone's reading the code and they can see it. Mm -hmm. That's what eventually is going to happen. You're going to look at a script and you're just going to decode it. It just takes yeah. practice. This is the second one you've read. You're doing great. Thank you. And your voice is perfect. So just put a smile on your face. Give me the information. Relax, forget everything I said, and just give it to me. Now JCPenney makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save. 20 to 30%. It's good. One more time. Put a smile. <laughs> Do it just like that with a smile on your face. Yeah. When you now watch the back, you're going to get it. Okay, sorry, go on. Go, 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 go. Okay. Now JCPenney makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save. 20 to 30%. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Okay. So, and the last line, remember when oh, we said, remember in the last script, when we leaned in, we had like the kind of devilish smile. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do here again. So use your head, buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. Like you're telling a secret. Okay. Imagine like the, like in a commercial, all of a sudden the person on the TV just turns and just starts talking to you. That's like what's going on here. They're letting you in on a secret. So use your head, buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. So use your head, buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. Yeah, but like, uh, so use your head, like, like do it like you're winking, but give me some energy. So like, use your head, you know what I mean? Okay. It's a no brainer. So there I go. Yeah, yeah, go. you're gone. Um, you, you had it. <laughs> <laughs> you second guessed yourself. Go I with did. it. You know, every I now did. and then we get like these creative inspirations and you just yeah. have to go with it. Even if it turns out wrong, you just have to train yourself to go with like your gut instinct. Okay. So use your head, buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. Do it like, give me a little more sass. So use your head, sass. Okay. So use your head, buy more, save more. Only that, at JCPenney. <laughs> that was interesting. I like it. I like it. I think it needs more energy. Okay. All right. So and when I say energy, not 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 volume. Not volume. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. I want to write that down. Energy does not always mean value. Exactly. Anything like one way to get energy into something is to find something that you get excited out about. What like kind of you know. You know, for me, I love, I don't know, you emailed me about it recently or yesterday. It was like about ice cream. I love ice cream. When I hear ice cream, I'm like, I perk up. I'm like, yo, what, 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 what? <laughs> That's energy, right? I'm not even saying anything. I got energy now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling with the so use your head. Um, I'm, I'm well, there's a bunch of different ways, right? So we can break it down. So like sometimes, you know, sometimes you'll be in a directed session and they don't know how to do a certain line. And they'll say something like, okay, you know what, Jesse, give me an ABC on that line. Yeah, no problem. And then I'll call off the take, take uh, ABC of so use your head. Here's take one ABC. So use your head. So use your head. So use your head. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's, it's, and, <laughs> and they're not sure which one they'll use until they see the edit. But yeah, I'm just trying to get you to come out of your shell that way. So, you know, there's no wrong way of saying it as long as it comes from a truthful place. Those are the ways that I would say it. 
So the language that I'm using is just trying to communicate to you to, I need some energy and I need some pizzazz on that line, but not so much that it's not truthful. Okay. Who would you say use your head to like a friend, uh, like in a the children, use your head. Yeah. Use your brain cells. <laughs> use your brain cells. Like, yeah. Know. Do that. Do exactly that. <laughs> You can do that. You can be sassy and like kind of in your face a bit in commercials, as long as it's truthful. There was okay. nothing over the top of what, what you did. Even your voice was a bit louder. It's just, it came from a truthful place for it. So it sounded real. Okay. True. Okay. You know, in voiceover, after you've done it for a while, you start to learn way more about yourself. It's, okay. it's really trying to find the things in your life that bring truth to what you're trying to, that bring truth to the copy that you're reading, you know? And and all the time, if you can't connect to a script, like for me, JC Penny, I've I've never been in JC Penny. So I would think about going to, I don't know, Nordstrom to buy like a brand new like leather jacket, you know, and that'd be like that would be my way in to get excited okay. about selling JC Penny. Okay. So this line, so use your head, buy more, save more, only at JC Penny. Your kids just did something dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yo, you know, you're not going to do that again. So use your head. So use your head, buy more, save more only at JCPenney. Good. You, um, if you're going to say buy more, save more, it's like a little bit of a trick there. Like it's one thing and then the other thing, right? So it's not like one thing and then another thing on the same side. It's like buy more, save more. You know what I mean? Okay. 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 So use your head, buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I that did. Was, that was great. You went, you know, you shut your brain off and you just went for it. And you and you and you did what was natural to you. And it worked. It was great. So a lot of the times you'll see things lists, right? Which mm -hmm. this isn't necessarily a list, but it's kind of delivered like one. Mm -hmm. Buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. It's a set of three things. So use so use your head. Buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. And each one of those three things, when you're saying short points like that, they have to sound different. They've got to have a different inflection. They have to have a different tone. Otherwise, it sounds like you said the same thing three times. And okay. the information doesn't really get across very well. But when you change subtle inflections and tones, people perk up and they listen more. And directors and producers love that. They'll get you to do that. But if you can do that on your own, that's what sets you apart from other voice actors. Cool. Cool. So are we ready for the whole read? We're going to do the whole thing right now. And you're going to forget everything I told you because it's all there. And you're just going to relax and you're going to go for it. Okay. All right. Your brain has two sides. The right side, creative, buy things, have fun. The left side, organize, practical, uh, saves money. Now JCPenney makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save, 20 to 30%. So use your head, buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. Good, very good, very good, well done. Now let's go back to the beginning, let's do it again. Smooth it out, make it a little more conversational. You're just riffing, you're just saying it, you know what I mean? Your brain has two sides. The right side, creative, buy things, have fun. The left side, organized, practical, and saves money. Now JCPenney makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save, 20 to 30%. So use your head, buy more, save more, only at JCPenney. Good. Now give me 10% more speed, but still hit your points. Okay. Your brain has two sides. The right side, creative, buy things, have fun. The left side, organize, practical, saves money. Now JC Penny, Penny makes both sides happy. It's the buy more, save more sale. It's simple. The more you buy, the more you save, 20 to 30%. So use your head, buy more, save more, only at JC Penny. Very well done. Thank you. <laughs> And you're done. How do you feel? I like it. I mean, it's 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 more than what you said. Like it's more than reading words on a paper. You mm -hmm. do have to kind of reach read. I think you have to. 
I think the goal is you have to know the script, know how it relates to you and speak on it based on your truth of what you know to be true about the script. Yeah, hundred percent. I think that that takes practice. I think that takes out probably a lot of practice, meaning, um, you have to find things relatable, you know, even I'm thinking of like with practicing, say I was auditioning for something, you know, I probably need to do like be in the mirror, you know, smiling more and looking at myself, watching how um, the infliction of my voice and, you know, whether I'm too loud or maybe I'm too soft. So I do. Now I don't, I don't that, think you need to go like that, that like um, precise on it. I think mm -hmm. it's just doing it a bunch. Now, if you're going to do that, where you're going to go into the mirror and do the and uh, practice and watch yourself, and it, it's probably not the best way. I would recommend working with a coach just so they can okay. give you feedback on it. Because what you could end up doing in the beginning when you're so new at it, you might do something that you think is working and without knowing better. And then you've just locked in a bad habit, like a really bad one. So mm -hmm. what I would suggest is just make sure that in the beginning, every script is coming from a true authentic place. And you'll know that because when you're saying it, it will sound, there'll be almost no difference than the way you sound in real life, right? Mm -hmm. So when I do voiceover, this is what I sound like. It is, yeah. I, the you whole know? time we've been on this call, your voice has remained the same, you know, and um, yeah, so. Because yeah. I'm, not, I'm not thinking, okay, well, you know, I might get a little bit loud at some points, but as long as I'm staying truthful and authentic and I'm, getting my attentions across, it doesn't matter. But if I'm trying to sound a certain way or or trying to make a certain effect with my voice, I just, you know, I know as soon as I'm doing that, because I still, you know, I'm not perfect. And a lot of the time when I read, I'll try to make something happen and I'll try to shorthand it instead of really understanding what's going on. And I'll hear it back. And I'm like, oh, that's no good. So that's a really good way to do it too, is listening um, to what you record, recording a lot and listening to it. And you can hear if you're being authentic or not right away. You might let, hear it and go, I was faking it. That's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, hold on. Hang on. Uh, I'm just going to say goodbye to everybody that's watching right now. And I'm going to stop recording. And then we're going to talk some more. Okay. So thank you very much, Kimberly, for being on the show. You've been an awesome sport. You've got an amazing voice. And I really hope you continue in your voiceover journey. Um, everybody else is watching. You've been amazing too. You've been an audience. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions about anything. Other than that, we'll see you in the next one.